President Biden is expected to meet again with top congressional leaders today to discuss the U.S. debt ceiling. It comes as Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen issued another warning that the U.S. could potentially breach on its debt as soon as June 1st. So far, neither side is willing to budge on their stance on the matter. A motive for a deadly mass shooting in a residential neighborhood of New Mexico remains unclear. Authorities say an 18-year-old man opened fire along a residential street, killing three people and injuring seven. Fire on Capitol Hill today. They will answer questions from the Senate Banking Committee. Since those banks failed in March, the Federal Reserve and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation have detailed mistakes by bank management as well as federal regulators. Wells Fargo is agreeing to pay a billion dollars to settle a class action lawsuit over its cleanup after the 2016 fake accounts scandal. The money is going to shareholders amid accusations the bank overstated how fast it was moving. The deal still has to be approved by a judge. U.S. Postal Service is beefing up mail security amid a rise in theft. They are installing 12,000 high security blue collection boxes around the country. It's also replacing 49,000 antiquated locks with electronic ones. In addition, USPS is updating the process for change of address requests to prevent identity theft. The price of eggs has gone way down. Last week, Midwest large eggs were just 94 cents a dozen wholesale. That is down from a whopping $5.46 a dozen six months ago. Those are wholesale prices, though. You're likely paying more at your local grocery store. The drop comes from supply getting back on track and demand not outpacing it. American household debt has surpassed $17 trillion, a new high. Americans increased debt across nearly all categories, but the largest balances were for mortgages, home equity lines of credit, auto loans, student loans, and retail cards. Experts attribute this growth to inflation, spending increases, and typical consumer behavior. Cars across America are getting older and older. New numbers from S&P Global Mobility shows the average age of a passenger vehicle has hit a new record high, 12 and a half years. Pandemic fueled high prices for new cars, helping to convince a lot of drivers to stay with their old rides. AAA believes this could be the busiest Memorial Day weekend at airports since 2005. The organization expects an increase in air travel of 11% over last year. Highways will be crowded too, with an estimated 37 million people road tripping, a 6% increase. This could be a sign of a hot summer travel season. AAA says this summer could be record setting, especially for airports. And that's today's 9 at night. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.